Hello, I'm Bear Grylls, and welcome back to Man vs. Wild. I'll be showing you how to survive in the Wissahickon Forest. In just a few hours here, you could die, but with these vital tips, you could survive. On a hot summer day like today, the, f the first vital step is finding something to protect your skin from sunburn. So, one specific tree in this area has what we need to lather our skin. And I think I've seen it over here. Oh, here it is. This is the tree. Now, if we just extract the sap, first step is to apply the sap. That's, that's great. Right from the branch, it's amazing. Now, once you've got the sap on your hands, you have to properly equip it to your body. Just simply around, and then I'm gonna rub it in, and now your skin is protected from the dangerous sun. You may think that this place is just all fun and games, but there are plenty of dangerous animals around here starting with the mosquito. Its sting could, could infect you for days with itchiness that could basically kill you. But there is one kind of leaf that will prevent this and make the mosquito not be attracted to you. And I think I've got it over here. Yes, yes, there it is. It is the chimichanga leaf. Now, all you need to do is shake this leaf and just apply it. To your skin. And now, just like that, I won't be affected by that pesky mosquito. In order to find a good source of food, you may need to kill a couple of animals. And to do that, you need a weapon, maybe a slingshot. So first, we're gonna have to find a good stick to make our slingshot out of. And I think we found one right here. Now, if you just take out your knife, you can carve this stick and then just add some rope, which you should always carry around in your bag along with your sasami knife. Now, if you just carve it precisely like this, before you know it, we'll have a slingshot. Got it. I've successfully made my slingshot. And even with a little extra time, you can make it decorative. In the wilderness, it is important that you find a good source of water and wait. Look at that! It's the majestic platypus, right over there. Shh, be quiet now. I think we can get it. All we need to do. Now, platypuses have a steady source of water in their stomachs. If we can just kill it, we can have water for days. All right. Now, this is risky. But I think I can get it. Got it! Let's check out our bounty. All right, look at this baby. A full adult platypus. You can see all the water in your stomach. So when you're going through the wilderness, it's important to find a good source of food filled with protein to help you keep on going. And there is a certain bush in this region that has berries filled with protein. And I think we might have found it. You can see that it has these, these leaves right here. Nice and dark green, and they're sort of oval shaped. Uh, so I think we found the tree. And I think the berries might just be ripe. Yes, the berries, here they are. Look at this berry. So, now that we have our berries, we have to get the protein out of them, the meat out of the berry. So the first step is to wash the berry skin because the berry skin is very poisonous by itself. So just take some of your platypus water and just put it on there. But we have a few drops on there. Just shake it about, and now all you need to do is skin the berry. So take out your army knife, and then you just find an open, nice opening. You stick, stick the Swiss army knife in there, and then you've opened the berry. Mm, that's good. Now, it's always important to know where you're going, north, south, east, or west. You, you need to know what direction you're going in. So it's always handy to check your compass. So we can see that that way is north. So we must head that way. Would you 
look at how deep that ravine is. Oh man, that's gonna be a tough one to cross, but I think that we can do it. All right, Whew. these rocks can be mighty slippery during the summer. Whoa, 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 that was a close one. All right, we got, you always have to remember, be very careful when going down slippery rocks. Just one wrong step and it could be the end of your life. All right, we've made it to the down part of the ravine. Now, the trek up. All right. <sighs> All right. I've got good leverage on this rock here. Oh, we made it. Whew. That was a hard trek, but that ravine definitely conquered. Oh my goodness. Look at that a wild animal near to the hicken. It's a wolf. We must run quickly. <laughs> So, in order for our path to continue, we must venture up this mountainside. So, we're going to need a rope to help us in that endeavor. So, it is a very steep hill, but all you need to do is tie a rope around some trees, and then you should be able to climb up. Ah. Whoa, almost fell there but we made it to the first tree. I've reached the top of the mountain and now I need to descend the other side. So, I'm just gonna take our rope and tie it around this tree, like so. Make sure you're not, it's nice and secure or else you will fall down the side of the mountain. Now, that this is tied, I can start my descent. So, all I need to do is simply back up, and then, just like that, I am down the side of the mountain. Here's a gorge even deeper than the last. This is gonna be a hard one to cross, but I think that we can do it. Just gotta, whoa, oh, it's slippery. Whew. All right, now we can probably jump across this gorge. All right, we can do it. All right, we're going to jump because as you can see, it's way too deep to climb all the way down, but we can make it. Here we go. Yes, we've made it across the gorge. Hopefully there's not one even deeper. That was lucky, but hopefully we don't need much more of it. All right, see this river right here? It may not be safe enough to drink, but we must get through the rapids and to the other We're side. here on this beach now. It definitely looks like there's a way across. So let's see if we can get over the raging rapids over here. It's gonna be very dangerous, but we need to make some sacrifices. You gotta keep your eye out for this big tree. As you can see here, there's something called poison ivy on it. It's very, very dangerous. It could basically kill you. You'll be itching yourself for days. You'll itch yourself to death. Without proper uh, itch relievers, you'll just die. Oh my gosh. I think I hear some dangerous animals coming. I don't know what they are, but they sure look dangerous. Remain quiet, they just hot. Guys, get out your knife. Just in case they attack you. A slingshot is also a good idea. animals just crossed our path. Thank goodness we are camouflaged in the wild. We've made it to the rendezvous point. There it is, right there. Let's go. Oh, it's nice to see some land again. That was a dangerous trail, but we finally have made it. I can't wait to see you next time on Man versus Wild.
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time on the I Man Rocks channel.